All right, so hear me out on this one. I've been wanting to put side scoops on my MR2 for a while now, and the only ones they had available were the C1 scoops back in the day. They no longer produce those anymore, so the only thing we can find now are replicas and knockoffs, and the market price for those is well into the $200 range. So I made what I thought was a logical choice, and I bought a $1,500 printer, the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon, and about $80 worth of materials to make my own scoops. We'll see if I made the right choice in a minute. So doing a little research, I stumbled upon this. Uh, it was Planet MRS on YouTube. He actually did a video about kind of a rough overview of how he did the scan with his iPhone and made a model, which essentially looks just like a C1 scoop, and he's selling uh, on Etsy the file for the 3D model. So I will include the link to that Etsy listing in the description below. Here's the first part, which is actually the bottom side of the model. You can see I put the tree supports from using the bamboo slicer. Uh, you can see here, there's a little peg here and a square peg here. That's for alignment of the two parts. And on part number two, here's the other half of it. You can see the other half where it plugs in like a Lego almost. I'll go ahead and run the time lapse of these printing. It's kind of hard to see in the printer, so I'm gonna speed up the process process a little bit just so it flies through but you'll get the idea. Here is the scoop glued together. I used just crazy glue. Holds the ABS together pretty well. That's what I used to print this with, with ABS. Uh, so far, you can see a slight gap where the model warped on the bottom a little bit. That was because the supports let go. I'm gonna sand this down anyway and fill it. The other thing we're going to do is I bought these furniture screws. They're meant for wood and basically you just screw this into the wood using this Allen key. And that allows you to fit, in this case, a quarter inch by 20 thread bolt, which is the common size that I've been using for all the body stuff that I've been doing mods on. So I'm gonna basically treat this as one of those heat inserts for the plastic. I'm going to basically use a soldering iron to melt out some of the plastic and then press these in to a couple of locations along the outside. And this will be how I bolt it to the car. So on the inside wall, before I put in the epoxy, I'm gonna use one of these electric plastic welding guns. It's got the little staples in it. You can get these on Amazon, pretty much anywhere online. You just squeeze the trigger and you put the little staple in and it should be like red hot. You see it glowing like that. It's enough to melt plastic, obviously. And you just shove these in there and it gives it some reinforcement. So you can see those in there, they got these little tabs. This kit came with some snips, so we'll just use these to cut the tips off of those. outside with the car please excuse the mess we have our next project's donor and itself puked all over the garage but right now we're here to talk about the 3d printed part so so far I've just kind of sanded it down filled a couple bad spots and sprayed it you can still see the parting line where the part was glued together I gotta still do some better sanding and filling on that but overall I think it turned out pretty good there's the holes for the bolts I just sanded the back of that roughly for now so the idea is I was gonna use the front bolts to secure it mostly to the car and then the back side, I'll just run that 3M tape on it. Uh, to do this, I have made some little spikes. I just put them in a drill and spun them on the grinder. And the idea behind those is I'm going to put them in here. And then I'm gonna press it up against the car and it's gonna put two little dots where I need to drill into the vinyl wrap. I removed the original side scoop because I want as much air as possible to enter that area. Get this thing about where I want it. 
All right, it's made three little dots where I need to drill. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna use these things that I drilled out to push it on for now. The real fit, I have to take the wheel off, so I'm not going to do that right now. These should just push in though. It's holding itself pretty good without anything, just from the friction and the bolts. All right, let's take a step back and look at it. Can't really see it on camera so much, but it does need a little bit of filler yet. But now at least the scoop sticks out past the side of the car, which should bring more air in. And it looks pretty good. For being 3D printed, I'm quite impressed. Still working in limited space with all these parts here, so get the best camera shots I can for now. I think after a little more refinement and some more sanding, this part should look pretty good. But as always, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. And if you want to see more videos of this car coming up, I have plenty more to do on this yet. We also have the other project over here. I will do a full intro video for that later and all these gargantuan piles of parts everywhere. You will be fully introduced to these shortly. That's all the time I got for today. Trying to avoid a thunderstorm. Peace out.